welcome back once again to another dollar store tool review what you're looking at right now you can hear the birds I'm outside in the backyard it's a beautiful day what you're looking at there is a tarp one of several tarps that I have that when I bought them they didn't really have a lot of holes in them so I needed to get a tool to put some holes in not just cut some holes with a knife but to actually make some proper holes with some grommets so I got this grommet tool kit Okay, you can see the uh, this here. I'm going to widen the shot out a little bit for everybody. There we go. That is the tool that supposedly will do a good job of putting the grommets, which are on this side, into the tarp. It says right on the back. Well, it says heavy duty uh, chrome plated. It says that on the front as well. Install grommets in most materials such as tents. It says traps on the front, <laughs> beach chairs, etc. It says traps on the back. Too. should say tarps on at least one of them you'd think but okay if you have a trap that needs grommets there you go so I'm gonna crack it open I'm gonna shut the camera off first and I'm gonna crack it open I'm gonna take a look at it see how intuitive it is to use I'll be back in a second all right so I've looked at the tool kit here to uh, put the grommets on these tarps that I have I'm gonna bring it into view as you can see it's hinged on the bottom and what you basically do is you put it in and you can see how it's kind of open on the end. If I squeeze on the end, it goes flat instead of being angular. That opening there, but you don't see it on the other side. And what you do is with the lump that sticks up, that's where you put, it comes with eight sets, it says. So here's one of the eight sets. You can see this one side and this one here is just the ring. Hold them up for you like this. So the fabric would go in between and then once this has been placed over this tool is applied and that if proper should squeeze the rim, the little ridged rim, you can see the little points on it, flattening it around the smaller of the two rings. So I'm going to stop again so I get the tarp ready. I have several tarps I'm going to do and we'll see how easily it goes. Alright, so we're back. I cut a hole with scissors basically big enough to fit that piece through. Okay, now I'm going to slip this piece over top now what should happen if this works out properly is this tool should be able to clamp it properly on. I'm going to put this through on the underside. I'm going to bring that over on the top. And as you can see I'm basically making a sandwich. Now this tool I should say, for those of you who remember some of my other reviews, is made by Wilson. I showed you the packaging earlier. These vice grips, this 5 inch vice grips, also made by Wilson. So I'm going to use them to help me clamp down on it. You could use a hammer, I suppose. These vice grips are a little on the small side. There, that might do it. And look at some of the other angles. That might do it too. I don't recommend trying to do this with your bare hands. You should be able to do it with a hammer hitting on it, vice grips, something like that. Okay, so tool came off. You can see the uh, the body of the tool is a little bit distorted. That really shouldn't matter too much if you're clamping it off in vice grips or stuff. As long as uh, these two pieces here, the uh, the parts that actually do the bending of the metal and the holding of the metal in place, as long as they hold, you're in good good spirits. Now, I didn't do a very good job clamping this down. Uh, it looks like I mangled it a little bit as well. I really would have liked to have had my bigger vice grips for it. I'm going to try a few other. I'm going to give it a shot with a hammer and see what that does. And uh, I'll show you the results I come up with, okay? Alright, so we're back. I gave it a shot with the hammer. That did not go well at all. And uh, this time I'm going to try a little bit different with the orientation. I'm going to have the large pin that's in the tool itself 
on the short brass bit instead of on the one with the long ridges coming off the side. So I think that might give me a better result. So I'm going to place that over there, over top. You can see the, the ridges sticking through where it would try and bend it down. And instead of coming up through this way, I'm going to flip it and go down through that. And uh, I decided that, uh, the, you know, the vice grips I was using for the first test, the 5-inch uh, vice grips by Wellson, they're good vice grips, but they just don't have the reach to get over the tool, over the center of it like this. So I'm going to do that with these 10-inch vice grips. You can see the number 10 on it there. Put that on there. And try and get it nice and centered. And let's see if I can do this on camera. No wonder it's way off to the side. I think patience is the key to this tool. It might not work, it might be a bad tool, but it might be one that with patience will do good for you. Oh yeah, I can feel it sink in there. I'm gonna tighten it down all the way till it clicks. Now you can see I really don't have a lot of room. I've compressed it pretty tight. I'm gonna let go of it and hope I've got good results. Better than the last one. Not as good as I would have liked, but better than the last one. I think it I think it's ugly but will hold. I really do. I think it's gonna hold, but it's ugly. Oh yeah, that's in there. That's in there nice and tight. So little something I've learned. This tool, this Wellson uh, grommet tool kit, should have come with instructions. It didn't. It, you know, at least put a picture on the back on the packaging. You look at it, it doesn't tell you how to use it. Just tells you, you know, what, what do you got? So I think they could have improved on that. I also think, and not just by having instructions, because it's a pretty basic tool. The one key thing I think you got to keep in mind when you're using this, if I can find the tool once again. So it's got two ends: the one with the pin coming up, and the one with the hole for the pin to go through. You don't want to put the tall brass piece of the grommet ring on the pin. You want to have the small flat disc. You want to have the tall one go through so that when it's done, all these bits on the side can press out and can fill the little valley in there. It's not quite the same, it doesn't have quite the same, it's got a little bit of a valley on this one, but it's not quite as deep, it's not quite as useful. In fact, I, you know what I'm gonna do? Just to see how well it works without the intrusion of any kind of cloth material whatsoever, I'm just gonna close it like this. So I'm gonna grab the vice strips, and we're gonna see what it looks like, unhindered. There, you heard it click, saw it clamp around. Okay. Yeah, it's mangled, but it's gonna hold. You're now down to the question of how strong is the brass in question, you know? Is the brass gonna tear any more likely than if you bought a tarp or something that had one in it, had a, a, a ringlet in it naturally? It's a, See if I can bend it with these. Yeah, it's it's pretty thin, it's pretty flimsy. But then you're not really putting it under bending pressure. The question really you have to ask, like I say, is is this gonna keep from tearing loose any better than this one, which came from it in the store? And honestly, I don't think it will because this one feels pretty sturdy. This one feels pretty strong. This is what was in the tarp from the store. And I can bend it. I don't want to bend it too much because we use this tarp. 
but uh, I can bend this one a bit easier. But I think it should be good enough to get the job done. And that's ugly. But uh, as long as it doesn't have any sharp edges, and it doesn't really look like it does not around the inside of the rim, where, when you have a rope pulling through it to tear the rope, I think you're going to get pretty good results out of this. So, the Welson grommet tool, you have the tool, and it comes with a, a set of eight grommets, both sides of the grommet uh, piece. You can buy other grommets, I assume that the, you can get fairly universal sizes. I believe this one here, yes, is a 3 8 inch, so pretty standard size. And So if you don't like the brass grommets that, you, that came with the tool, you can buy more expensive grommets and then you know clamp it, clamp it in a, a bench vise if you have, or a large pair of vise grips. You want to see the one I did with the hammer? I'll show you the two I did. This is the one I did with the small vice grips. I, I kind of had to crimp one side at a time because I couldn't really reach around the whole thing. This is the one I did with the hammer. Again, it's 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 on there, but uh, it's as ugly as sin. I'm gonna have to give this thing a pass for your dollar worth. I think patience is the key. You can get the job done with this tool. It's made by Wilson. They usually make good stuff. I haven't really found anything that's been a horrible failure from them yet. Even if the grommets aren't all that great, just a dollar or a buck and a quarter, buck fifty for just the tool itself, I think you're getting your money's worth. So to me, this is a pass. So there you have it. Uh, this particular dollar store tool is just as effective as something you'd get from a hardware store. I deem this worthy of the toolbox. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.